In this video, I'm gonna cover the pros and cons of installing single layer greenhouse plastic versus double layer inflated greenhouse plastic. We have videos showing how to install single and double layer inflated greenhouse plastic structures, and I'll link to those in the description. But the point of this video isn't to show how to, but is instead intended to provide you with information that may help you make a decision whether to cover your structure with one layer or two layers of greenhouse plastic. We're gonna cover which costs more upfront, which is the easiest to install, which makes for a stronger greenhouse or a high tunnel, the positives and the negatives of how single and double layer structures might impact the quality of plants growing inside the structures. And ultimately, the point is to provide you with this information so that you can make a decision what is best for your structure. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because some of the pros and the cons might actually surprise you. But before we even get into the pros and cons, you should ask yourself and answer one very important question. Do you currently have electricity where your high tunnel or greenhouse is gonna be located and do you plan to do that in the very near future? If you don't have electrical and you don't plan on putting electrical out where your high tunnel or greenhouse is, single layer greenhouse plastic is probably the best option for you. There are technically ways you can do double layer greenhouse plastic using manual separators. We used to do that here at Tunnel Vision Hoops. We weren't huge fans of it, but you technically could do that. But if you don't have electricity at your farm, the easiest, most practical option and route would be to do single layer greenhouse plastic. Now, if you do have electrical out at your high tunnel or greenhouse, or you plan to do so in the very near future, the next parts of this video are for you. So with that out of the way, let's go to some of the comparisons. Let's start off with ease of installation. Single layer covered greenhouse plastic structures overall are easier to install, which you probably expected, but there is a caveat. Hear me out. So yes, installing two layers of inflated greenhouse plastic is overall more difficult. There are just more steps. You have to put in double the, the amount of spring wire. You have to put on two layers of plastic. You have to figure out where you wanna put your, your blower fan. Then you have to install the blower fan. You have to put the jumper hose on. It can be a lot, but here's the caveat single layer covered greenhouse plastic structures, you have to install that greenhouse plastic tighter. Almost to the point where like you, you could flick it and it would make a noise like a drum. You don't want that plastic to move in the wind. And with single layer covered structures, you have to pull it tight because if it moves in the wind, there's a, a higher chance that the greenhouse plastic will break down a little faster than it should. You wanna get all the years you can out of the greenhouse plastic you're purchasing. And that's the caveat. It's, it's difficult sometimes for some people to pull that plastic as tight as they need to. Whereas with double layer inflated greenhouse plastic structures, you're not really pulling both of those layers super tight because you don't have to. You can rely on the pressure between the layers of air, the blower fan that's pushing air between those layers to inflate both those layers and take up all of the slack. That's the only caveat where double layer covered in, in inflation systems might be a little bit easier uh, or there might be a little less pressure, no pun intended, um, to, to pull those super tight. Overall though, the overall winner for ease of installation is definitely single layer covered greenhouse plastic structures. Number two, which costs more? Single or double layer covered greenhouse plastic structures. Now there are four main costs involved with installing the greenhouse plastic we're talking about right now. One, upfront costs. How much are all of the materials going to cost for the set? And clearly there are more materials with the double layer inflated greenhouse plastic structure. So of course it costs more to buy two rolls of greenhouse plastic. You're buying the inflation fan, you're buying a jumper hose, you have more spring wire. That costs more. The upfront costs, the cheaper one, is single layer covered greenhouse plastic structures, clearly. And if you do need any of this stuff, Tunnel Vision Hoops sells greenhouse plastic and channel and wire and jumper hoses and blower fans, and I'll have direct links in the description to where you can find it. If you want to support the channel, that's one way to do it. The second type of cost associated with single versus double layer greenhouse plastic structures is labor. How much money, if you were to hire someone else to install both of these, would it cost? Or if you're not paying for someone else to install, take your time to consideration. How much time will it take to install a single versus a double layer covered greenhouse plastic structure. After all, your time is worth money. So yes, there are more materials with double layer inflated systems, so there will be more steps, so it will take a little longer to install. So the labor costs or your time costs will be greater with the double layer system. But if you follow the steps outlined in the video we produced uh, on how to install a double layer inflated greenhouse plastic system, the additional steps to correctly install two layers of greenhouse plastic can be minimized and it actually doesn't add a ton of time to the day. Both are probably going to take a day. You know, if you get a couple people out there installing one layer of plastic, you know, depending on the wind situation, do it on a calm day. 
do it on a calm day. But depending on what you're dealing with out there with the elements and the people you're installing with, you probably should just say this is gonna take a day. So after all these labor inputs are considered, you're definitely more likely to roll over to a second day if you do two layers of greenhouse plastic. And for that reason, it costs less upfront when it comes to labor if you're doing a single layer greenhouse plastic structure. But I'm emphasizing upfront labor costs for a reason. How much will both a single layer and a double layer structure cost me over time? <laughs> Which one's gonna set me up to save more money over time? And this is where it gets difficult to calculate, but we're gonna try to go through the process right now of what you need to consider and be thinking about when you're trying to think of future costs for a single layer versus a double layer system. So you would think that it's a clear winner. Single layer covered structures are gonna cost less over the long, long term of your structure, the life of your structure. But this is where double layer systems sort of start to pay for themselves. Hear me out. Double layer inflated greenhouse plastic, on average, tends to last a bit longer than the single layer plastic that's on a structure. And part of this has to do with the, the fact that there's inflation which creates consistent pressure on both layers of plastic, which means they tend to move less or wave less in the wind, which goes a long way to help prevent them from breaking down prematurely in the elements. So you might actually get one or two additional years out of your greenhouse plastic if you have two layers of inflated plastic. Double layer systems also tend to shed snow a lot better than single layer covered structures. So it's deflecting wind with two layers of plastic, it's pushing snow off with two layers of plastic, it's moving around a lot less. It just gets beat up a lot less. So you're, you're probably not gonna have to replace it for a year or two after you would if you were doing a single layer covered structure especially if the installation wasn't done perfectly on the single layer structure and that plastic wasn't pulled really tight and it's kind of flapping around in the wind. That's not gonna bode well for the longevity of the plastic on that single layer covered structure. And hopefully what I'm about to say never happens to anyone watching this video, but in extreme wind events, the type of wind event where you might lose a top cover to the wind, it is more likely that you lose a single layer than the covers on a double layer inflated greenhouse plastic structure. Additionally, if you lose a layer on your double layer inflated system, you have a redundancy. You have a second layer beneath it, which could be the fail safe for protecting whatever is underneath that plastic. The double layer structure offers a little bit of a redundancy, a protection against the elements in those extraordinary wind events, the wind events that none of us wanna see. There's no way to know whether you'll even need to avoid a wind event like that. So in a sense, that's like an intangible, it's an unpredictable, but it's something that needs to be considered when you're debating the pros and cons of single versus double layered greenhouse plastic structures. So when it comes to future costs, even though there's more material with a double layer greenhouse plastic structure, I have to give the win to a double layer covered inflated greenhouse plastic structure. The system is just set up to help you avoid some of those future costs a bit better than a single layer structure. For future labor costs, I have no choice but to come to the same conclusion. Double layer structures, even though there's more material, you will find yourself most likely installing the plastic and the inflation fan and all that stuff less than if you have a single layer cover structure. You might find yourself installing the greenhouse plastic more frequently through the life of your greenhouse than you would with a double layer structure. And for that reason, avoiding the inputs of labor and time over the course of the life of the structure, I have to give the slight win to the double layer inflated greenhouse plastic coverings. And this is the fourth main cost that came to mind. Double layer inflated greenhouse plastic structures save way more energy if you're heating in any capacity. So over the course of the structure's life, over the course of your heater's life, if you're using two layers of inflated greenhouse plastic, you're going to save money on fuel usage. And if we're talking about costs of single versus double layer greenhouse plastic, double layer greenhouse plastic wins hands down if you have a heater. Third, which covering option makes your structure slightly stronger? Single layer or two layers of inflated greenhouse plastic? I've already mentioned this a few times, double layer greenhouse plastic provide some elements of strength for a few reasons. One, there's pressure from the inflation of the two layers of plastic, which helps deflect wind. But additionally, that helps deflect snow. So if you have snow buildup, it's more likely to push the snow off of your structure than with a single layer covering. The second reason that it makes your structure a little bit stronger in ways is it does have a slightly increased temperature inside the structure. Not that it's warming the structure specifically, but it's helping warm air stay within your structure for longer once the sun goes down. And even though this might be a minuscule gain 
from a temperature perspective, those few degrees of temperature that you're holding for longer could help in a way melt any snow and work in conjunction with the inflation to further protect your structure from snow. For this reason, double layer wins this category again as far as whether single or two layers of inflated plastic makes the structure stronger. The fourth and final category I want to compare pros and cons are plant health. Will you have healthier plants in single or double layer structures? Honestly, you can have healthy plants in both. Um, double layer structures do have some benefits to them as far as like what I was just mentioning with the ability to retain heat. Uh, they also have showed to experience less temperature spikes in the summer months. So believe it or not, inside a structure with two layers of plastic, you'll actually experience less extreme temperature spikes inside the structure than you would with a single layer covered structure. We did a test a long time ago here. We had two structures side by side, one with two layers of plastic, the other one with one layer of plastic. This is at the Cleveland Botanical Gardens Green Corps program. And we had these set up and the temperatures were taken throughout the entire summer and we were very surprised to learn that the, the structure with two layers of plastic actually experienced less spikes in temperature above 95 degrees. And just a couple of degrees, degrees of difference, or if you have a benefit with the double layer structure, that could mean the difference between losing some blossoms on tomatoes or not. So in this sense, the double layer structure wins, uh, but I want to make it clear that you can still successfully grow uh, in a single layer covered structure. Um, I had a farm for five years. We had a single layer covered structure. Uh, we grew into January in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we just used more frost blanket on the inside of the structure to help us extend the season. And according to Elliot Coleman, in some of the books that he's written, when you add another layer of greenhouse plastic, it's like moving an additional zone south. And, and that tells you all you really need to know when you're trying to pick a winner of whether single layer or double layer structure sets you up best for plant health. If you're growing into the winter months, having two layers of greenhouse plastic, if it's in your budget, if you have electricity, it's gonna potentially help you extend that season a little bit longer because it's like moving the zone south. Even though the farm I had was growing with one layer of greenhouse plastic, we did add a covering in the sense with frost blanket. In our minds and in, in our experience growing, that also was like moving a zone south. So these are all the things you need to consider when you're debating in your mind whether to do a single layer greenhouse plastic structure or do two layers of greenhouse plastic and inflate it with a blower fan. Hopefully this video helped you weigh the pros and cons, the costs of each, and now you're a little bit closer to making a decision of what's right for you and your farm. There's no single correct answer. You can be successful with both. If you're looking for more education on high tunnels, we have a great newsletter you can sign up for. I'll have a link to it in the description. Most of the newsletters are focused on notifying you there's a video, sending customer pictures when they sent us their completed high tunnels, talking about the features and benefits that certain high tunnels have. We also use the email list to send you information on blogs we've posted about using HAF fans in your structures, uh, the most profitable crops to grow during the winter months. If you're looking for more education on high tunnels, I highly recommend subscribing to our newsletter. I'll link directly to where you can do that in the description below. Thanks for watching.